Good morning, welcome to another day in Japan. Today the plans at this stage are try and book into that hedgehog cafe again and I really really want to go see Yogi Park to see if I can find some cool shooting locations. And today's outfit features this cool top that I bought yesterday. It's kind of spotty with some sheer sleeves and I've got this beautiful necklace which you will definitely be seeing in my Japan haul. And just with my kitty cat trench coat from Miss Patina. Okay, let's go. We set up so late last night. I started editing. I was tempted and I started to do it. I probably got halfway through one video by about 2.30 in the morning. So I'm a little bit weary this morning. Also, our friends came over. One of my bridesmaids and her partner are here in Japan at the same time, which is awesome. So they came over last night for a few drinks too. So yes, it's been, it's been a long one. Yes, this is the place. This is the place to shoot. Look at this. Oh my god. This feels so magical. Okay, Yoyogi Park is seriously the most beautiful place. I cannot wait to shoot here. It looks so pretty. But first, ramen. We haven't had a single bowl of ramen this whole trip so far. So, ramen for lunch today for sure. Back home now for a short while. We decided to hold off shooting at Yoyogi Park for the rest of today because when we were there about midday, like the lighting was perfect, the sun was bang on, right where I wanted it. So we're gonna go back tomorrow to shoot there. Right now we are just chilling at home for a bit. We booked in to go to the Hedgehog Cafe, but it's not until 5 p.m. and it is 2.22 right now. So we're just gonna hang out, chill, play some DS. I might do some editing, maybe eat some cookies, maybe. And then we'll head out to Rapongi at about four o'clock. Thank you. Are you excited to go to the Hedgehog Cafe? Yes. You are? Yes. They're really cute. Yeah. Do you reckon mine's called Soniku? Hopefully. Do you want a bit of cookie? Sure. What, what, what flavour is it? Mm. 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 I don't know. Mm. White chocolate. I think this is the car White chocolate! I'm, I'm have a day milk. No, I think this is the like, caramel fudge chocolate chip. I can't tell. It just has a little cookie. Bye! It's kind of prickly, but it's not terrible. He's pretty relaxed. I think he's waking up now. He's like, what's going on? This is not how I fell asleep. Can I take a photo? Yeah, of course. Bye-bye. We made it back from the Hedgehog Cafe. More importantly, we made it there in the first place. That was nearly, nearly a disaster. You know how I said that we were just gonna chill and like maybe edit, play some DS and then head. Turns out we just went to sleep. Um, so cut it a bit fine, <laughs> considering we were going to a new place for the first time, but we got there with a few minutes to spare. So it was all good. The Hedgehog Cafe was, my heart is there. I have left it there. I mean, I don't know much 
aka anything about hedgehog physiology but they all seemed super chill it was really clean and smelt nice which is more than I can say for most cat cafes and the owl cafe from yesterday and the little hedgehog just had the kindest little temperament oh, I just wanted to cuddle him forever however the hedgehog I had before I cuddled my lamington speckled one for 45 minutes was the devil reincarnate. I thought maybe an albino hedgehog would be a fun time. No. No, that thing wasn't happy, wasn't happy to be in my presence. And he was just like sticking his tongue out at me and, and napping at me and I was like, you were you ruining hedgehogs for me. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but one of my favorite, I wouldn't call it a fairy story, maybe folklore, I think it's Russian. Or German folklore but it's a story called the Grovel Hog and Jim Henson did a series called the storyteller and he retold the story of the Grovel Hog in that and that is one of my like fave childhood pieces and so I've always kind of had a bit of a thing because okay so a Grovel Hog is like a man-sized hedgehog that rides a giant rooster with a saddle so I'd always been kind of into hedgehogs I suppose you could say but we don't have hedgehogs in Australia as I've said only nasty giant echidnas that don't have soft quills Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with hedgehogs now. This was a bad idea. We shouldn't have gone there. How am I gonna, I need one. I think it's raining now, so we're just gonna button down, chill out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Also, I'll tell you my plans, my hopes, my dreams <laughs> for the next few days. I really want to go to the Imperial Gardens, Imperial Palace, and ride those swan boats the pedally swan boats and I also really 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 want to shoot in Yoyogi Park and I think we'll do that tomorrow morning yes anyway I'll see you later bye very disheveled because I'm terrified of birds and the lady was like here yeah, put your arm out and this big barn owl flew onto me it was a lot it was cool though I still don't know if I am not afraid of birds mm -hmm.